So if you're trying to crack a FANG interview, here's a system design question that separates the coders from the architects. Design YouTube. It sounds simple until you realize you are designing for billions of users, petabyte of videos, and real-time streaming, all without buffering. When a user uploads a video, it first lands in Google Cloud Storage, designed for infinite scalability and durability. The metadata, title, uploader IDs, tags, everything goes in, into something called as the big table or spanner, optimized for fast lookups and global consistency. Next, the video goes through transcoding. Think it of like slicing one video into five. 144 pixel, 360 pixel, 4K, this is done through asynchronous using pub sub architecture and ffmpeg running on water nodes it's distributed and fault tolerant so no single bottleneck once ready it's sent to cdns content delivery network so users in india don't wait for us server the cdns closest to you delivers a video ultra fast and super reliable but what about recommendations that's where the youtube's ml engine comes in your watch history click patterns and even how long you hover over a thumbnail all get crunched into BigQuery, TensorFlow and massive training pipelines. The result, scary good recommendations, right? Just like how you are recommending my video. And to keep everything running smoothly, YouTube uses auto-scaling Kubernetes cluster, load balancer, caching layers and abuse detection systems to handle spikes, trolls and outages all in real time. So next time you're asked to design a system, system in an interview, don't just talk about microservices, Talk storage, processing, delivery, machine learning, and scalability. That's how you design a system like a FANG engineer. I hope you learned something. And if you want me to design the complete architecture of it, just type system design and I'll create that particular video to you.